Hello everyone, peace of Christ to everybody. Um, uh, this video actually to answer someone, a Muslim, he posed to me in the video where I was talking about the heaven of Islam. He said, isn't it like why you are complaining from wine in the heaven of Allah when the Bible approve you to drink wine? Uh, you know, when we talk about heaven, uh, we are talking only about uh, wine in the heaven. We are talking about uh, a bar, women, boys, wine, you know. Uh, uh, this is an atmosphere it's it's a satanic atmosphere it's not a holy atmosphere anymore and if you go and see in the Bible you know the uh, the, the wine in there is not about uh, uh, like when Jesus, the, the Lord Christ he said some a little bit of it will bless your heart he said some a little bit will you know anything too much of it will kill you even food Sugar, salt, water, too much of it will kill you. Air, anything too much because your body have a limitation. So, you know, uh, wine is the same as all kind of things have a benefit for us. If we don't really know how to use it, it's going to kill us. Too much salt will cause you cause your heart problem and you might die of it. Or a, a blood pressure, etc. You know, same as sugar. Same as anything. Uh, you know, drugs. Drugs is very useful if you use it for surgery. So if you know how to use it in the right time, it's not only have a benefit, it's have an amazing benefit. Imagine if we don't have a drugs, you know, you will go to have a surgery or you want to go and fix your, uh, you know, your, your tooth and the doctor is, is playing with your body with a knife and you are feeling all the pain. So even drugs have a benefit. But if you don't know how to use it, it's going to kill you. So the Lord, he said to us about how to use the wine. But you know, you as a Muslim, and everybody knows, and I am from the Middle East. And if you grow up in Saudi Arabia, you know what I'm talking about. In there, everybody, they love to drink. And they pay, ex ex you know, extremely expensive money, you know, to get uh, uh, alcohol because it's forbidden. And this is the only Islamic country in the world, as I know, uh, uh, alcohol is forbidden. And actually, even in America, you know, if you uh, uh, nobody can uh, can drink a beer, beer in the street. If you if you do it, you will be arrested. In in all Arab countries, Islamic countries, you can not only drive, uh, you know, uh, drink beer in the street publicly, even when you are you know driving, it's okay. And I challenge any Muslim to say it's not true. Not only that, in America, even if you buy it, you're not drinking it. If, if the police find the, 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 the alcohol with you in the car, even if it's closed, you will go to jail. In the Middle East, you have it in your car with you, and you, you hold it with your hand even when the police is talking to you. It's not a crime. Everybody know, everybody know that. Now, this is not the way how we prove that Islam is filthy. And Muslims always, they, because they have no answers, you know, they cannot answer me about their heaven. They cannot explain to me why their heaven is just... A, a, a pimp house so isn't it in the Bible you know why like from all the video you did not find anything except the wine the video is showing us how filthy you're having 300 boys 72 women you know come on that said the wine okay but I will show you that wine even in your Quran is the maid of Allah Allah he contradict himself let me show you how Allah do lie this is surah 16 verse number 67 you will see in here that Allah saying that of the fruit of the palms and the grapes, you obtain from them, uh, you know, intoxication and goodly uh, uh, provision. So, you know, you, you know, Allah, he gave you this fruit. He made the fruit for you to made alcohol. He made it for you for that. He did not make you... Uh, uh, the, the food for only to, to eat it as you see for goodly you, you see the word this is a translation of Muslims not my translation this is Big Tal read Big Tal too it's the same strong drink the word in Arabic sukran sukran to, to, to get it drunk so Allah he made that uh, uh, fruits to make you get it, you know to get it drunk Muhammad later when he got so old he cannot drink anymore he was sick because his wife was poisoning him 
and he was throwing up everything he'd drink or he eat. Then he said, okay, you know, uh, we forbid a drink. You know, the guy, this filthy man, uh, uh, when he cannot do it anymore, he forbid it. Like he did not forbid people to walk naked around the Kaaba until the last year of his life when he was going to die because he want to go there and watch women naked walking around the Kaaba. Before that, he did not forbid it because he used to go and enjoy it, watching women walking around the Kaaba naked. You know, walking around the Kaaba naked. He did not forbid that. So, and here we will see that this guy, you know, it's up to his need. He is dying. He cannot do it anymore. I will forbid it because he knew it's filthy. Now, let us try to fix and correct our face and how we look in the front of those people. And everybody knows that even Muslims used to pray and they are drunk. This is Surah 4, verse number uh, 43. You know, you will see in here, the Muslims, this is why I say always, Muslims are a nation of liars. This is the Quran, this is the translation. You see, they translate the word drunk with be fogged what does that mean huh don't approach the prayer when your mind is be fogged what does that mean does that mean drunk no but the fact the word in arabic when you are a drunk let me show you and prove to you how every muslim is a liar like their prophet amazing let us show you here we go this is surah 4 verse number 43 this is shakir O oh, uh, uh, who, O oh you who believe, do not get near a prayer when you are drunk. This is big tell. Don't draw near to the prayer when you are drunk. So why in this translation they are not saying when you are drunk? You know, from my understanding, this word doesn't mean drunk. But maybe I'm wrong, you know. But in any way, so the God of Islam, he did not, instead, like, what, why the God of Islam did not say to them, don't drink at all? So, and if you read the explanation of this verse, you will see that, uh, uh, you know, people was uh, praying and they are feeling down. Imagine, guys, you go to the mosque and the guy next to you is, how are you doing? Hello, uh, Akbar. And he fell down. And if you go and read the explanation, anyone you want, Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, all of them, they are saying the same. Muslims were praying when they are drunk. They are feeling apart when they are, when they are praying. Allah, he did not say to them, you know, don't drink. Or what he said, when you go to pray, okay, you know, try not to be drunk, come on. And you will see now with this, you know, with this verse, actually, you will see that Muhammad being a hypocrite. He is trying to be so soft with them because if he said to them, anything will hurt their feeling, they will leave him. They are not real uh, uh, believers. They are believers of benefit. You know, like in, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, you will see it, uh, 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 a man and a woman. They are doing adultery, but they name it in different way. They say, he, you know, she is my friend with benefit. A friend with benefit. Now, Muhammad is the girlfriend of every Muslim. He is a friend with the benefit. Muhammad don't want them to be angry. If he knew and his God knew that being drunk is forbidding, why he did not say that to them? Why he is saying to them in the other surah I showed you that I made fruits for you so you can make a drink from it. He made it for that purpose not to eat it to make a drink from it and now you see him saying to them okay you know don't get uh, you know because it was embarrassing people are saying things they don't know what they are saying you know they are drunk the prophet is a drunk and the prayers are you know the people are drink, praying they are every, everybody is drunk and because Muhammad later they told him you know that the Christians and the Jewish making fun of you and people who follow you you go to pray and they are feeling apart and you yourself, you are drunk. So he made himself, he want to fix his picture in front of the Jewish and the Christian. So he made this surah saying, oh, you know, just Allah told me, don't get near a prayer when you are drunk. Oh, really? But does not mean don't drink? Right? Doesn't mean don't drink. There's no forbidding yet. 
So he is not only, by this verse, not only approving it drinking, he's approving it in every time except in the time of prayer. Did you notice? And the Muslims will talk about being drunk and, you know, people, you know, look at your religion. This is the religion of drunk people, drunk religion. And the top of that, I am willing to show you your prophet teaching people how to make a drink. But the video will be over now. So follow with us in the coming videos. Jesus is Lord. Islam is false. I mean.